Hello Jen, this is the Hairy Golfer here. Thanks for inviting me to get involved in this long range golf lesson. And oh boy, do I need one. The past couple of years have been a bit of a struggle, but it is slowly getting better. Tell you about myself. I was born next to a golf course where my dad played. So the first time I had a club in my hand, I was six years old. But I didn't really get into golf till I was 23. And even then, I didn't really get into golf. I didn't, it was one activity amongst many. It wasn't until I was 30, when I got down to 14, that I thought, if I try at this, I might actually be good at this. And three years later, I was off nine. Now I eventually got down to five, and I got stuck at five. Because it was a bit late in life, you know, I was in my 40s. And the last three years, four years or what have you, I've gone up from five to six to seven. And I've had a, quite a few injuries. You know, I've spent 30 years hunched over a computer, which doesn't do your back any good. The last two years, I've had sciatica for months on end, which has really hurt my game. Now, I'm getting back to being good again. I had some lessons this year. And we picked up on a few faults. Now there's one fault you will see in my swing that I've had for 30 years. And that's, I bend the left elbow in the back swing. I've always done it. I can't seem to get rid of it. And I don't think anything that you or your coach will say will get rid of it. I don't think anything that you or your coach will say will get rid of it. Another issue I've had recently, when I take the club away, is I bow this left wrist. Now I have been getting rid of that slowly, but not every golf swing. It is not perfect. I've still got this bow in the left wrist. And my other issue is, I'm about the same distance off the tee as yourself. You know, about 240, 245. And if the ground's firm, then it goes out further. You know, it goes out to 270, 275. But with my short irons, I am much shorter than you. I've lost some yards with my short iron. Now, the thing that you will probably notice, because I watch myself on video, is that when I come into impact, these hips have hardly turned. Whereas you're all the way through and open, I've barely opened my hips at all. So I'm not getting my body through the ball as I used to. So I need some help there. Now we're in lockdown and all the golf courses are closed. So all I can do is go in the back garden out here and clip the tee. I've got two clubs with me. I've got the five iron, so you can see a fullish swing. And I've got the pitching wedge, because then you might be able to spot why I'm hitting my pitching wedge very weak. You know, I'm at the point where if I've got 115 yards, I'm reaching for the 9-iron. And I would never reach for the 9-iron. It was always a pitching wedge. Now, that might sound a bit ego-like, that I want to hit shorter clubs further. I don't want to hit them further. I want to hit them like I used to. So a pitching wedge goes 115, and a 9-iron goes 130. And the eight irons go in 140. Now with the lessons I've had, occasionally I will hit a short iron the correct distance, but most of the time it's weak. So hopefully when I get out there, you'll be able to spot something. Let's get me spikes on and uh, let's go clip the tee.
Well then, Jen, that's that. Now, considering I haven't picked up a golf club in three weeks because of lockdown, that didn't feel too bad. But I'm sure the videos are going to show quite a few uh, mistakes in there. Well, I'm looking forward to your reply. And thank you very much for the opportunity. Cheers. person who's getting their swing analyzed is Simon also known as the Harry Golfer so if you saw that little clip that Eric talked about and basically I want to talk about what you told me which is that you have a big struggle with straightening your left arm it's always bent coming up here it's a lot of bent here which obviously would cause a lot of difficulties with consistency and I must say, both Eric and I looked at your swing and we both agree that you save it really well. So meaning, past your backswing, your downswing actually looks pretty good. So what Eric and I talked about was, first of all, for you he said it's actually a very easy fix. And I know that you're a big fan of Matt, so Golf Psychic. So um, he will actually be releasing a similar video because he working on the same thing as well with Eric and what Eric told me to tell you was basically the drill that you need to do is um, it's kind of hard because I don't have a pocket but I know a lot of men wear pants with pockets right so what you do is almost you put your hand in your pocket and tug yourself back why you use a lot of your hands is because you don't use the hip to turn so you don't do this if you see a lot of your backswing is literally just using your hand and you see even me if I don't turn if I just take my hands back it will naturally start to bend and I'm pretty flexible so obviously one as we were saying one of the problems with doing that is obviously the lack of consistency and control and I also realized that with your shorter irons, you actually go even further back compared to your 5 iron because you sent me a video of a 5 iron in your pitching wedge so that could be why you're hitting it even shorter with your pitching wedge so something you really need to do is put your hand in your pocket and push your hip back because that's the feeling that you want to do that you want to feel in your especially because you're in lockdown now, right? so you're really trying to just implement the feel so you put your hand in your pocket and push your pocket back and when you do that, you can actually start taking your backswing with your arm straight because you're using the rotation so when you use your rotation and you just naturally you don't push your hand back but you naturally let the rotation bring your take take you through your backswing you're gonna realize that your arm actually is straighter without even trying so even your backswing even at the top of your backswing you might notice that it's shorter and the reason why is because you're using your rotation and not your hands most of the time when you have a really long backswing, it's because people just use their hands and as you can see in your front video, a lot of it was just taking a backswing with your hands versus using the rotation in your hips to turn, which is what you need to do right here. Doing this. 
So that's pretty much it. I think that's gonna help you a lot. It's something very simple, but you're gonna be able to see it translate into your golf swing, especially since you're in lockdown. Something you can do very easily. Um, I look forward to seeing how it helps your game. Obviously, you can't hit balls right now, but hopefully you can start seeing that your left arm starts getting a little bit straighter, your back swing maybe gets more consistent, and yeah. Thanks Simon for always supporting me and I'll catch you in the next one.